Researchers say it's possible to see the first set of COVID-19 vaccines in 12 to 18 months, although there is some optimism that it can happen before the end of the year. UWI professor Dr. Christine Carrington explains there are several vaccines in different stages of development. Ian Wieson has more. As the world continues to grapple with the spread of COVID-19, scientists are racing around the clock to develop a vaccine. Vaccines are usually weaker, less harmful versions of a virus which are introduced to the body to help the immune system build a battle plan for the disease in the event the virus actually reaches. Professor of Molecular Genetics and Virology Dr. Christine Carrington says 125 vaccines for COVID-19 are in development, but 11 have reached the stage of human tests. One of these, she says, is the AZD-1222 being developed by Oxford University. It has reached the stage for 10,000 UK citizens to be tested. The results of that study are expected in August, but um, with COVID-19 transmission slowing down in the UK, there is the issue of whether enough people will get exposed to the virus in order to tell if there's a difference between the two groups. She says even before the results of these tests are known, production of the vaccine is set to begin. The company AstraZeneca is going ahead with preparations to produce 2 billion doses of that vaccine, including 400 million for the US and UK and 1 billion doses for low and middle income countries. If the vaccine is proved to be safe and effective, the first doses are anticipated to be available later this year and the first 300 million ready by July next year. So there's a lot of ifs in between. Dr. Carrington says the most promising vaccine in clinical trials may be ready before the end of the year. Ian Wason, TTT News.